CERN has plans for a new model, a new Hadron Collider, which is set to be way bigger than the one that they have right now, 10 times more powerful than the current model, which is already the largest machine in the world. And there's so many weird things going on around CERN. I, it's, we're definitely not getting the full story, but they have plans to upgrade it with a new model, way bigger, a circumference that is 100 kilometers long, huge, 10 times more powerful. And they want it to be in working order, colliding subatomic particles by 2050. I'll play the video right now of them talking about this new model. I won't put in the audio because it would get hit with copyright, I'm sure. But interesting to see right off the bat that they're making fun of the flat Earth model. First off, with a totally ridiculous model showing the thing in space, which no one who is knows about flat Earth doesn't even believe in space. And then with the sun going around the backside of it, completely ridiculous, just a mockery of the flat earth. And it's interesting that they put that in because really CERN, I believe, is either a weapon that they're trying to build to fight God in the end times, or they're trying to open the portal portals to the dimensional realm to bring in the beasts of Revelation. I really think they're trying to do that. We know the angel in Revelation comes with the key to the bottomless pit. I think CERN is trying to do that. I'm, I'll put up the picture uh, after the video plays of, I'm not sure if these pictures were verified to be actually truly from CERN, but where they have all these different languages welcoming the entities coming through the portals in different languages, even in Sanskrit, which is the oldest known written language. And we also know that they've, they've been, they're in contact through these portals. They really are. They said back in what, 2009, I believe it was that something may come through the dimensional doors that they create, they can create dimensional doors there and that something may come through that door. They were quoted as saying that as well with their occult symbolism that they have going on. We know that the God of destruction in Hinduism, Shiva is there. And then they come out with their symmetry video, which is very ritualistic. And they've got what, I mean, it seems like the antichrist or the beast that they're, it's there in their video in the, in the symmetry video they came out with. There's so much occult symbolism around this place and they want to be upgrading it. I wonder if maybe they've come across some knowledge where they know they need to create this machine to be stronger and bigger for them to actually open maybe the portals they want to, to open the bottomless pit, or to maybe try and create the new Tower of Babel, the new weapon that they think they can point towards God and towards Jesus in the end of days and take him on, which as we know in Psalms 2, it says the kings of the earth try to plan their attempt to fight God, but God of course laughs at them because it's a joke that anybody could think that they could fight God. And in the article that I was reading about this, it's funny, it says, uh, here's a quote, it would be hunting for subatomic particles by 2050 with the goal to explain unsolved mysteries such as the force of gravity, something that all science is based off of and they always are talking about the gravity, the gravity, but here they even say trying to solve something such as the mystery of gravity. Funny that they mentioned that. This is really just a, I believe it's a cover up. They're trying to create the new Tower of Babel or they're trying to open dimensions. We already know they're trying to open dimensions. They openly admit that and they could easily open up the key to the bottomless pit to the dimensional realm where the beast of Revelation will come out of. We know that fallen angels and the aliens that people experience, these are interdimensional beings. They're not extraterrestrial by any means. The way they fly in the sky and the way that they, say, go through doors and go through people's rooms, take complete control over their bodies, such as like people experience during sleep paralysis, is everything that is surrounded that people experience during a demonic encounter. Demonic encounters and alien encounters are... Uh, they're completely identical, undeniable that they're completely identical, and they're interdimensional beings, and they are trying to contact them at CERN. They truly are. They would love to do that. They want contact with these fallen entities. They want to bring them through physically. They really do. I think the Holy Spirit, who we know is the restrainer that it says in the end times that once the restrainer is gone, the Holy Spirit, that's when things will get really crazy on earth. And these people are trying to take that force away. They're trying to bring in 
the interdimensional realm, these interdimensional beings into this realm. And here's a quote from the director of CERN that is in the article that I will link in the description. It says, but CERN's director for the accelerators of technology, Dr. Frederick Bordy, said the possibilities were beyond our imagination with this new larger collider. He says... Quote, if you imagine the discovery of the electron by J.J. Thompson in 1897, he didn't know what electronics was, but you can't imagine a world now without electronics. And that's what these people are doing. They want to open dimensions to different realms to bring in these different fallen entities, demonic entities that now have to be cloaked and have to flee at the name of Jesus that when the restrainer is gone, that they will try, that these things will come upon the earth. Maybe they're trying to fight God to get rid of the Holy Spirit so these entities can come in. There are interdimensional beings. There are fallen angels. There are demonic forces in existence. And these people are trying to contact them. They are. They're trying to bring upon the end of days because they think that they can fight God and that they can win. They're going to point their weapons at Jesus when he comes in the clouds. They're going to try to take on God. They're, it's the new Tower of Babel. They're trying to fight and overthrow God. They think they can. They think they can. They think they can win, and they think that they can outlive God with transhumanism, and that they can fight God just like they thought at the Tower of Babel. But they are in for a rude awakening. It's going to be a big mistake. They're going to learn that this is not that they can't fight God. No one can. It's already been tried once before at the Tower of Babel, and those people lost. You'd think that these people who want to face God, you would think that they would just look at history and at what's already happened when people have done that in the past. Nothing's going to change. There's nothing new under the sun. Lucifer already rebelled, and he rebelled with angels, and none of them, they couldn't even compare to come to coming against God, and they were cast down to the earth. They didn't even have a chance. And just like Psalms 2 says, God laughs at these people for even considering the fact that they could take him on. It is, it's an insane thought. These people who try to go against God or these people who get their information and they're Satanists and stuff, they only know about Satan and the fact that he even tried to trick with the tree of, or that he tr tricked Eve with the tree of knowledge. They only know about Satan because of the Bible. So why don't they read the rest of it and see where his eternity, it, where his eternity lies and where those who don't accept Jesus Christ and those who follow Lucifer, where their eternity lies. And it's an eternal damnation. That's what happens. It just makes no sense that they wouldn't look at the rest of the book to learn what the outcome is. I don't know where they get this idea that they even have a chance. These people just don't think. They think that they can challenge God and they absolutely cannot. But they are trying. So whether they're trying to open the interdimensional realm to bring in these fallen entities to rule over us, to usher in the book of Revelation, or whether they are working on a weapon to use against God, or maybe they're probably trying to open these dimensions because they think that the host of hell can fight God and win, but they're in for a huge surprise. We'll see what else comes out on this as time goes on. But these guys there, they're in for a rude awakening, and there's something weird and secretive going on at CERN. Thanks for watching. God bless. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded then that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Why do the nations rage, and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointed, saying, 
Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision.